Hi, I'm Claudia. Today we're going to make a Thai red curry. We're going to do it from scratch, so we're going to be making our own curry paste. And that is great because that means you can play around with the flavors and find the little tweaks that you like best. We're going to make a vegetarian version, mainly with um, butternut squash. So what we need for our recipe. For the curry paste, we will need these ingredients here. One or two chilies, depending on how spicy you want it. Um, one pepper, red pepper, three tablespoons of ginger, three tablespoons of garlic, and six tablespoons of shallots. And then spices, we need two tablespoons of turmeric, two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of roasted coriander seeds and roasted cumin seeds, and one teaspoon of salt. And we will need three tablespoons of oil, any, any vegetable oil. And then for our actual curry, we will need a can of coconut milk. We're going to use mainly butternut squash, so one medium butternut squash, um, a little bit of um, baby corn, some munch too, but you could use any vegetables that you like. You could have peppers in here, you could have um, mushrooms, you could have green beans, for example. And for flavoring, we'll need one tablespoon of sugar and the zest of one lime. Then to decorate at the end, to garnish, we will need some lime and some chopped coriander. Excellent, so let's start. The paste is super simple. We're just going to put all the ingredients into a bowl and blend them together. This recipe is quite mild. So if you wanted it spicier, you'd use more chilies and less red peppers. We're going to start putting our ingredients in the big bowl. So this is our curry paste ready. This should be enough to do about four or five recipes. We're only going to need a little bit. The rest you can either keep in the fridge for a week or keep in the freezer for about three, four months. Great, so now we're going to start cooking our curry. We first need a little bit of oil in our pan, about two, two tablespoons the heat onto medium, medium high. And here we can add, we can add three tablespoons, big tablespoons of our paste. We fry it for about five minutes until it dries out a bit. So now most of the water has evaporated, like you can see we have quite a lot less uh, paste and the oil is starting to separate from the paste and that is what we want. Once this happens, we're going to add our coconut milk. Excellent. And mix it through. Make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then this needs to boil for five to 10 minutes. Perfect. So again, we want to see the, the oil rising to the top and that's when we're ready for the next step. Um, this is when we add our sort of acid, sweet, sour, which, which are the flavors that the Thai cuisine plays with quite a lot. So we're going to now add our sugar and lime zest. If you were using fish sauce on a non-vegetarian version, then this is when you would add it too. That would be two tablespoons of um, fish sauce added now. So all we need to do is for this to now mix into the rest of the sauce. And then we're going to start adding our vegetables in order of how long they take to cook. So our butternut squash is the one vegetable that will take the longest. We'll put that in first. We'll cook this one for a few minutes and then after we'll add the baby corn and then at the very last minute we'll add our munch too. They only need about a minute or two. 
Okay, so we've been cooking this for about seven minutes. It's starting to soften. Now we're going to add our baby corn and let it cook for another sort of three minutes. Last but not least, we're going to add our munch too. Mix them through and then in two minutes, we just give it a final taste and finish up seasoning it with a bit of lime, maybe fish sauce or salt. And so for the final touches, I'm going to add a squeeze of lime in here. Mix it through and we're going to serve this with white rice.